all right welcome back so in this video we're gonna be going over the helix and the spiral so come over here under wireframe and come over here again under rectangle select the arrow down and go to a helix so we're gonna be going over both of these helix and spiral let's go over helix first so right away you'll notice that you can actually snap the whatever options you have right onto the center point or wherever you want really on your screen let's go ahead and snap it right here and go over all the features and what happens whenever I change some of them. Now you can also change the base point of that by selecting here again and changing it to wherever you want. I'm gonna go back and place it right at the, my center point. So this is a helix and helix is basically a spiral that you can basically control the pitch and the revolutions, the height, the angle, even the taper angle, uh, and even rotation wise, clockwise, counterclockwise to create it. So first we're gonna have this one that is created based on the options that we have here. So let's go ahead and study what those options are. So first, you can actually tell it how many revolutions you want. For example, if you want only 11 revolutions or five revolutions, you can see the number of spirals go down. So this is one, two, three, and four, and five. And then there's a height. Now the height, we'll see that when we rotate our part. So I'll show you the guys that in a little bit. So the radius, the radius is the distance between the center here and your first, where your spiral basically first starts or your first pitch, okay? Uh, there's also a taper angle your taper angle the revolutions and the height you'll see those a little bit more when i change views in a little bit the pitch now the pitch this is the distance between one revolution and the next and as you make that bigger you can see that the entire uh, helix becomes bigger you can also change it from clockwise to counterclockwise simply counterclockwise it's starting here and it's rotating counterclockwise where clockwise it starts here and it rotates clockwise all right and the taper angle is when I move it to the front view, you'll notice that it has a certain taper. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that and go ahead and select OK and OK over here. Now I'll rotate this to the front view right here and you'll notice that. So there's my five revolutions and you can see that this is my 39 degree taper that I've also created. And the distance between here, each uh, revolution is the pitch uh, distance as which I've already checked as well. You also notice that for the helix, you can select that entire helix and delete that. So if you select the entire one, press delete, it will delete everything. So that's how you would do uh, the helix. Now we're gonna go through uh, something very similar if you go back to wireframe and go to rectangle and it's called the spiral. So the spiral is a little bit different, but it has most of the options as the helix, but you can control things a little bit more. So for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and place the default options right onto here. All right, so for this one, you can control it a little bit more. The initial pitch distance and the final pitch distance, you can actually control them so they are different. Also, when this is created, they are separate. So you can actually go in and delete these in partial each revolution uh, on its own. So you can't just delete the whole thing unless you select everything. Now the revolutions and the height, those will stay the same. The clockwise and counterclockwise are the same. The only difference is the initial pitch and the final pitch here. And also, if you're looking at it from the top view like we are right now, you can also move the initial pitch, which is the distance between here and here, and the final pitch, which is the final pitch uh, of whatever you want it. So even if you want this to be, for example, bigger than that, you can change this to 0.5 and that will increase it. You would have to zoom out to see everything. But now you notice this pitch is now bigger than the initial pitch. And the radius is obviously the distance between the center and the beginning of the first revolution. But everything else is really the same. So if I select apply and OK, I'm going to go ahead and place this into my front view. So go to view and place it into the front view. And there you go. You notice that you can select a revolution and delete it. OK, now what I've done is I've actually selected two on top of each other. So if I select all of these and the way that I know that is because I can see the light blue and the dark blue. So now there you go. I've actually deleted some of them that are the light blue ones, which is okay, we can leave it at that. But you notice that you can actually select and delete certain pitches on their own, unlike the Helix, which you can actually delete the whole thing when you select it. So they're very similar, just a little bit more options over here um, that you can play around with. And uh, that uh, concludes this session for going over the Helix and the Spiral.